Yo, what is up, guys? Just woke up, threw on some clothes. Um, stupid tired right now. And I woke up a little bit later than I normally do as well. So, um, video's not starting as I really liked it, as I really would have liked it, but it's all good. So, um, right now, just kind of throwing some clothes. I get my uniform thrown on at the fire station. So, right now, just gonna go warm up my car. We got some pretty heavy snowfall last night. So, it's freezing outside. There's a crazy amount of snow, probably. And I'll just take you with me so you can see how that's what I do for that. Uh, much better. So like I said, um, I woke up a little bit later than I normally do, and um, I don't know. So for the for this intro, just for the sake of time, I'm gonna be cutting through a whole lot of steps. But just got done making the bed, and just to give you guys an idea of all the bags I take to work. Um, so now that we're at one fire station, keep all my stuff in my locker. It's so much more convenient. So I just have, have my main bigger duffel bag here, which has anything from shoes to extra downtime clothes. Uh, I literally carry anything in here, honestly. Got my fleece in here right now. Um, sometimes I carry some extra Tupperware in there. Um, here's one bag of food. Here's some more food right here. And then here's my backpack, which is just for my work stuff, which is my laptop, you know, chargers and all that other good stuff. Um, can't forget the water bottle. I don't need that. And then that's pretty much everything right now. So now I'm about to start grabbing these bags and make my way to the car. And then that's where I start cleaning off my car. Got to the fire station, sit in my car for three to five minutes, um, and then that's that moment where I'm like naturally wake, waking myself up, allow my brain to soak in, and prepare for the next 48 hours, prepare for the day, say a quick prayer, um, and that's just my way of like starting my, my my morning before work. Now this doesn't happen every shift I'm coming on, but I wish it did. You know, I need to kind of get a little bit closer towards my towards my faith with God, but nonetheless, well, I'll grab all my bags, take it inside, and then once I get to the bunk room. Um, I'll continue where I left off, so I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm gonna get dressed. Right now it's about 20 minutes till 7. And at 7, that's when we go. Alright, so now we're going into the PPE room. Basically, we keep all of our structural gear, uh, wildland gear, any of that, or stuff of that nature. Um, it's got everybody's names up top in the red tags. All my wildland stuff. Down here, you got my equipment back, my radio um, pouch. My helmet, my structural jacket and boots, and then I got a big red bag to carry that gear if I need to transport it anywhere, so. All right, so here's how we kind of lay out all our trucks. We got engine eight right here, a ladder truck, tender to the right of that, hazmat down there. We got some trash trucks over there. Engine four, which is what I'm on today, rescue three, and then sheet two is right here, and here's how we lay out our gear. So on this side that I'm standing on, oncoming ship, personnel will stand right here and across from us we'll have the off going guys and that's kind of where we do the passover and ship change so here's a driver for the truck today my man doing bush it's cracking currently checking his oils and fluids always everything's good to go yes sir always always oh man we got all right next so we got these uh pass tags right here accountability tags this is how we let our crew chief know who's on the truck Easy doing, but already has his up upside down as a driver. Take skin his on right there. He's crewing the truck. I'm gonna go right below him. Boom. And then we got another slot for another seat, another person. That's basically just how we keep track of everybody who's on the truck. We get a call. 
So here's the gear I keep inside the truck. Keep my coat, my equipment bag, my helmet, all stays in here. My bunker boots stay outside the truck. Uh, in case we get a call, I can just run, jump into it, and get my gear going. So now I'm about to check on my pack. It's something we do every day. Just to make sure we got enough air in there, make sure everything's good, no leaking air or anything like that. Um, and we're at the uh, minimum PSI uh, to get going. So here we go. So as I mentioned earlier, on the far side of the stalls, we keep our crash trucks. So here's crash 11, here's crash 12. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and check those out. Now that I can get pretty loud. So my light's on right here, lets me know that my pump's running. So now I can go ahead and check, make sure everything's operating, we have enough water and all that. I can see my water level here as well, which obviously seems to be full, but we want to physically inspect that tank and make sure that the water's tapped out. I went ahead and did my radio checks, checked my signs and all that. Uh, now I'm checking my turret, you guys can see, operating all this with the joystick right here. So just make sure everything's functional, um, everything's in operating condition in case we get a call everything's ready to go so and we have equipment as well in this truck and we have a pack on this truck right here in the seat you guys can see so i'm gonna check all those out as well and then i'm gonna check the second crash truck behind me and i'll catch you guys in the next clip to get us a sam Bodie. <laughs> Between checking the trucks out, washing the command vehicles, cleaning the stalls, that all took us a couple hours. So now we're about to go make a quick little run, come back, have some breakfast, and then get the day really started. Started. All right, you guys, right now we just pulled up somewhere on base where we're gonna do some training right now, which I'll get to show you guys. You guys, so today's training, we got some drafting operations right now. All right, that's just a simple process where you're basically getting water into your truck and you want to use like some kind of external source, right? Like a pool, a lake, anything like that that has water. Now, you may be asking why would you want to suck water out of a pool and get it into your truck? A firefighter, Doug, here's gonna explain why would you do that. Shop operation is usually gonna be for when you at a particular place where you might not have any hydrants or anything like that, so you'll have to. Set up a water source in order to get water back to your tank. So that's why you eject from a, a pool. Okay. Simple. So there's no hydrants in the area. You're going to drive from whatever your closest water source is. And if that's a pool or a lake, that's what you're going to do. You always want to chalk that truck. Stability purposes. You don't want that rolling back. <laughs>
All right, you guys, we finally pretty much got back to the station. We've pretty much been out all morning um, just taking care of stuff. So right now it is almost 1130. It's 1127 right now. Um, we've now been on lunch for about 27 minutes. Our lunch starts at 11 o'clock. About to go grab some lunch. I'm not too hungry, but I'll show you guys what I'm having, what our lunch usually looks like. Sometimes you get a little lunchtime workout for lunch day. Nutella and a really poorly sliced English muffin. Hey, it works. What you having for lunch, Sathar? I'm having a, an Italian sub. Italian sub, awesome, yeah. awesome. Commissary special. And over here, like I said, not too hungry, having something light. Turkey breast Asiago cheese, you know, kind of like a, what are those kid things called again? Lunchables, lunchables. yeah, kind of yeah, like a lunchable. So adult Lunchables, there we go. With these little weedy crackers. And then one apple. And after that, probably gonna get a little workout in. We'll see how that goes, but I'll be That's more than happy to bring the camera in so you guys can see what's going on. How sweet is it? That's pretty good apple. Pretty sweet. The guys head is missing. If the head's missing or their body's cut in half, what are you supposed to do? Yeah. 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 Fit. Fit. I like the fit. I like the fit. Alright you guys, it's currently 1140 right now and now <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and change out into my down gear. So you can see I'm still in uniform. Our fire station gym. This is where we get the work in. two hours by that time you know it's it's around dinner time so you usually just shower and start focusing on dinner um and usually after workout time that's kind of our like kind of start easing into the day you're kind of just relaxing um and just you know waiting on a call uh if that's the case but before i do close it out i just want to bring you guys back in here i'm in my bunk room again just kind of show you something so this question i get a lot um from friends and family like my mom asked me this question too so as you see right there there's two names for bunk room 14. This room is not completely to myself. We share the bunk rooms here on the fire station. Usually it's two people to a bunk room. Right here, as you can see, this is a uh, dust cover that we keep on the bed. So when we come on shift, we don't just sleep on this dust cover and then the next guy comes on shift and sleeps on this either. It just like protects the mattress and just has like, it's just like a layer over the mattress and like the little foam pad that we have over the top. We'll put on my personal covers on top of that. Use my personal pillow, my personal blankets and all that, like stuff that are to myself. And then when I'm getting off shift, pack all that stuff up, I store it in my locker. And the next guy that comes in that uses this room, they have their own sheets and their own pillows and bedding and all that stuff. So we do not sleep on the same covers or, you know, use the same pillows. That's um, something that I had, like somebody asked me. It's about 5.13 right now. I ease into the afternoon so I can prepare myself for the next 24 hours tomorrow. Um, get focused on some good dinner. Uh -huh. I gotta get you guys on the grill, come on. Take me through a walkthrough, what's going on out here? 
This is dinner time in the fire station. You know, so we season up the chicken, right? All right. We're marinade for a couple okay. hours. Okay. All right. Heat up the grill 30 minutes prior. Too easy. Too easy. I'm out here. Uh huh. Let's see what we're working with right here. how we do it when it comes to dinner we don't play about that some what chicken thighs fresh off the grill what? and some kids apple juice <laughs> and a whole avocado yeah. and shower relax probably pull up my laptop do some work edit some videos do some studying um also enrolled in school so this is the time where i kind of like focus on my college work and do all that good stuff so it's all about managing your time in these 48 hours so nonetheless hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, if you guys have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Well, I already said the comment part, but don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed the content. Um, and stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to get back into the Air Force firefighter-related content. I know lately I've been a little off topic, but nonetheless, thank you all for the support. The subscriber count is just shooting through the roof. Let's just reach 4,000 because we're almost there. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.